All right, guys, you were given your instructions in your respective dressing rooms. Please obey my commands, respect the bell, and above all, protect yourself at all times. Belts are good. Touch, touch, touch. Thank you. Ten rounds for the USBA Heavyweight Championship. And we talked about the friend and family request of Steve Cunningham. We got a brief glimpse as they were introduced of his wife, Libby, his manager, and their daughter, Kennedy, in the audience. Chris Mannix will have more on Kennedy coming up in just a few moments. It has been a very emotional time for the Cunningham family. Now they try to get back to the business of fighting Cunningham and Mansoor. Heavyweights are scheduled for 10 rounds. The USBA title is on the line that Mansoor holds. That and no doubt a move up in the rankings for the winner of this fight. Absolutely. It's a very exciting fight. And here we go, Kenny. You know, you see Mansoor coming out, banging his gloves together. Steve, nice and calm in the corner. He's been through all these types of situations before. Get ready to see a jabbing display by Steve Cunningham. Amir Mansoor has got to make this a rough, in close fight, land something big, and uh, throw Steve off his game plan. Mansoor, obviously the South Paul, 12 of his last 14 wins have come by way of knockout. Now, one thing Amir told us yesterday in the fighter meetings, that you guys are going to be surprised at the difference in hand speed. Everybody thinks Steve's faster than me. He's not necessarily faster than me. And uh, Amir came right out at the beginning of this first round and uh, showed some very impressive hand speed. Steve Cunningham in his 33rd pro fight. That's a dozen more pro fights than Mansoor. Nice double jab left hand by Mansoor. Nice body shot by Steve Cunningham. And I think uh, Amir surprised Steve a little bit how he came out, Kenny. He came out jabbing, he came out. Hand speed looks very good for a heavyweight for 222 pounds. He's, uh, he's definitely got very good hand speed and very athletic guy in there. Nice left hand by Amir. The assumption was that it would be Cunningham who would always have the edge on most heavyweights in quickness, but he could he finish him off? Could he do punishment over the series of time against them? So far, Amir is, uh, you know, showing some nice upper body movement, showing some good jabs in and out. He's really, uh, you know, got Steve on his back foot just a tad. And he's, you know, it's only the first round, so you're not going to get too excited. Beautiful jab by Amir. Mansoor coming out with purpose here early. Good first round from here, yeah. And you know, Steve wanted to come out and, uh, you know, put the jab up, put it down, and uh, really take control of the pacing. And uh, so far, Amir has countered very nicely with the left hand off the Steve Cunningham jab. Nice right hand by Steve Cunningham. Mansoor with a good left. Steve's got to be careful against those ropes. Nice right hand by Steve. Beautiful shot. He comes back on Mansoor. And you see Mansoor really digging all of his body into all those shots. Steve made him pay when he was coming in. And uh, very good first round. A lot of punches, a lot of leather thrown in this first round, Kenny. For heavyweights, they've been very active here in the early going. Mansoor just misses Cunningham counters. No seconds of this round. We'll be back in 30 seconds with more of the main event here on Fight Night. Welcome back to Fight Night. It has been a difficult few weeks for the Cunningham family. Kennedy Cunningham, the family's eight-year-old daughter who was born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Put simply, the left side of her heart just doesn't work. She has undergone two surgeries already, and this year the Cunninghams believe she would soon be strong enough for a life-saving heart transplant. But because of the collateral veins that have become visible on Kennedy's skin, doctors believe that if they perform the procedure, Kennedy would bleed out. The Cunninghams refuse to give up hope and are seeking second opinions. But as Steve told us yesterday, Day. Now, it's essentially a matter of time before Kennedy suffers heart failure. Thank you, Chris. A trying time. What an amazing, upbeat family, though. We saw Steve with Kennedy last night. He was taking her out for dinner, and she is just a doll baby. What a great disposition and attitude she has. Unofficially, 
Steve Cunningham gets that first round. And Steve telling us throughout the fighter meetings, this is his release. His catharsis is doing what he's doing now, getting in there and slugging it out. He said, that's how I cope. I know that I have to make a living for my family. I've got to fight. So that's how I deal with Kennedy and the situation. He is a man of deep faith who works with the local uh, religious organization here in Philadelphia. And that's how Steve Cunningham has dealt with a very trying, heartbreaking situation for so many people. Beautiful body shot by Steve Cunningham right there. We, we, great exchanges by both guys. Amir was swinging for the fences. Steve was moving his head, making a miss. Nice right hand lead by Steve Cunningham. He's got to be careful not to get too close in those exchanges with Amir because he's really got heavy hands, Kenny. Well, some power punches thrown already by both these guys, and the face continues to be a fast one at that. Who will this favor over time, do you think? I think it's going to favor Steve Cunningham. He's gone 10 and 12 rounds multiple times. He's been in with a higher level of opposition. And, uh, you know, Amir's trying to test him out and show Steve, listen, you can't handle my punching power, but so far Steve's doing all right. Mansoor coming in, missing. Oh, he tagged him there. He got him with that right. Little bit of an uppercut on the nose of Cunningham. And that's what Steve has to be careful. He's got a bad cut on his forehead. Very bad cut from that left uppercut. Horrible cut. Steve Smoker wants to take a quick look at it. They go right back at it. Mansoor cutting off the corner now and coming right at Cunningham. Steve needs to get out of this corner and he needs to not exchange in these exchanges with Amir. Bad cut, blood going into his head. He needs to make sure he gets out of this round, let his corner work on the cut and see if he can regroup. And that's the problem, what happens whenever you get in those exchanges. Steve was doing good, but you run the risk of getting hit with a punch from a much heavier guy who can change, that cut will change the whole complexion of the fight now. And Steve still shook up from that big left hand, Kenny. It was one that caught him right above the bridge of the nose, and you see the blood coming down. Like you said, BJ, not a good place to have a cut. The blood coming down toward the eye area of Steve Cunningham. And he's holding on right now against Amir Mansour. Very rough Mansour round for Steve. Strong round. That's the end of round two. Steve Cunningham going back to his corner. And there, daughter Kennedy. Oh, bless her heart. Sometimes she has trouble watching daddy fight. See how the cut took place in the last round. Amir Mansoor coming with a huge right hook, catching Steve on top of the forehead there. The punch definitely affecting him, and now uh, Steve's got a bad cut and a very bad place, Kenny. Right there over that left eye, BJ, as we get back to live action here. Mansoor getting that last round unofficially from Larry Hazard. A round apiece now for these heavyweights as we go into the third round. And I think on my scorecard, Kenny, I think I got two rounds for Mansoor. Right? The first round was close, but he landed some good left hands, and I think I gave him that round, so Steve might need to start uh, really getting some things going. And he was having a good round until he uh, took some heavy artillery in the end of that round. Amir Mansour is really loading up though, and this is where Steve can take advantage. Mansour trying to come in with big punches and they continue to miss. But you see how explosive Amir is. And the level of, of dangerousness whenever you're in exchanging with Amir is very, very high. He's an explosive puncher. He's, he's got dynamite in both hands and Steve has to very, really be careful not to get caught again. As Mansoor continues to stalk Cunningham, tripped up there, they touched feet and they tripped up. That was that, not a punch. Let's check in now with Chris. Nazim, what are you seeing out there? We got a bad head, but we knew Mansoor was going to bring his head like that. It's just a style, it's not a tension. It's a style. We're out boxing him, but I don't want Steve. Steve said he could bang with him a little bit. I don't want Steve to do it. I want him to keep boxing. Mansoor's going to fade. That's why, they, that's why they made it a 10-rounder instead of a 12-rounder. Mansoor fade. He swings big and hopes for the best. Thanks, Dustin. Well, Steve Smoger, the referee, came over to us between rounds to let us know it was a punch that opened up that cut. No headbutt. It was that punch, BJ, as you pointed out, that opened that cut up just around the bridge of the nose, right up there over the left eye. Yeah, well, referees are wrong all the time on what the reason is for a cut, but we saw in the replay clearly that it was caused by a punch, and, uh, you know, that has nothing to do with it. Steve has, you know, been cut times before. He still knows how to fight, and Nazim cutting, and Nazim, brother Nazim says, listen, Amir Mansour is going to wear down, and that's what 
what their game plan is to get through these early rounds and to get Steven in the later halves of the fight to take control. I want to make him miss. He's been quicker this round and he's made Mansoor miss on some big punch attempts. He has, and that's what they want out of Steve. They want him to stay on the outside, make him miss, and look to land counter shots. Amir obviously is the stronger puncher with the heavier hands, but eventually that'll start to change if, he, if Steve can make him miss in this early parts of this fight. Final seconds of the third round. You see swelling on the left eye of uh, Amir Mansour as well, courtesy of the right hand of Steve Cunningham. Cunningham landing one of his own. Steve Cunningham, Amir Mansour, they check one more time in the corner of Cunningham. That cut opened up over his eye two rounds ago. Back in place and we're ready. Round four, this is scheduled for ten. Cunningham in the gold and blue. The colors of the Navy. Proud veteran of the Navy, that's where he really got into his boxing career. That last round scored by Larry Hazard for Cunningham. Unofficially, that's two rounds to one for Cunningham. Mansour, a big swing and a miss again. Steve's starting to make Mansour miss a little bit. Now, look at the swelling in the left eye of Amir Mansour. Theoretically, Steve should want to move towards the direction of that eye, but Amir Mansour is a very heavy left hand, so uh, it's very difficult to know which way. But both fighters have had some damage. Good body shot by Mansour. And Steve's really woken up here in this fourth round. Mansour is a little quicker perhaps than some would think if they haven't seen him much and know about his power. Cunningham did not underestimate him in any phase of this fight. He's quicker than I thought, Kenny. I've seen him fight before and, you know, I've known he has heavy hands, but it's rare to see such an explosive puncher have that kind of speed. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen that. Um, you know, he's very unorthodox and it's, he's not completely technically sound, but he is very dangerous with his uh, power and his explosiveness. And Cunningham is showing his agility and outquicking Mansoor the last couple of rounds. Let's check in with Chris. Moses, this seems like the kind of pace Amir wants. How do you like this fight so far? Yeah, I, I like it. I want him to get closer though. Don't no stand out on the outside. He's popping in with that dad, the right hand. How is he going to hold up over 10 rounds? You think he can keep this going for the next four or five? Over 10. I ain't worrying about him not doing 10. He can be. Thanks, Moses. Thanks, Chris. Swelling under that left eye of Mansoor, the cut over the left eye of Cunningham. Both fighters doing damage here in the first three rounds plus now of this fight. Nice body work by Amir Mansoor. He had Steve Cunningham in the corner. Steve had his hands down and he continued to bang away at the body. He's got such heavy hands. And you see him physically moving Steve whenever he connects, even though the body punches aren't landing cleanly. Beautiful counter right uppercut by Steve Cunningham. Nice right hand by Steve. He's starting to catch Amir, walking in a little bit. Amir's got to remember, what did he do in the first round, Kenny? He used that jab, but he's not using it anymore. And Steve's making him pay. He walks in, Cunningham got the right in. That right hand lead is the most effective punch against the southpaw. Textbook 101 boxing, right hand, left hook, beautiful right uppercut of the body. Nice shot to the body by Cunningham. Cunningham getting in some good punches. Ladder stages around four. Mansoor trying to come back. That's the bell. <laughs> Great work in round four. Beautiful right hand lead against the southpaw Mansoor. Another short right hand again. Catching Amir Mansoor walking in without the use of his left jab. And uh, daughter Kennedy reacting to it. <laughs> Great punch is dead. And Kennedy, with all she's been through, she said she wanted to be here. Livy wanted her to be here. Steve wanted her to be here. And now Steve doing some good work. He got that last round unofficially from Larry Hazard. And Cunningham. Working it close on Amir Mansour. And this is the part of the fight where Brother Nazim said, hey, we're going to take advantage of Amir's inexperience here. We're going to punish him. And I saw a very good round from Steve. Steve came out in the beginning of this round. A little higher pace, higher intensity. And uh, they're looking to make Amir Mansour fight three minutes of every single round and wear him down the stretch. 
And Amir's such a heavy puncher, kid. He's got such heavy hands. If I'm Amir, I'm missing a lot of shots right now. I'm going to forget about Steve's head and focus on his body because those punches are affecting Steve. Of Mansoor's 20 wins, five of them have come way of decision. The rest, he has been able to put his opponents away with knockouts. And you can see why, Kenny. He sets his shots up nice. He's very uh, unorthodox. He leaps in, he's explosive, and he's got very heavy hands. And you see the almost 20-pound lighter Steve Cunningham starting to push Amir Mansoor back in the clinch a little bit. It could be because of fatigue. Halfway point in the fight. You see the total punches landed. Cunningham now with an advantage and power punches. And this is where the experience of Cunningham can really come into play here. He's fought world-level opposition for 10 years. Amir Mansoor has beat a lot of good heavyweights, but no one on the level of Steve Cunningham as far as overall pedigree. And the question was, Steve, the question he probably is asking himself secretly, he's going to be lighter than just about every heavyweight he fights. Now, they're not going to be Tyson Fury 6'9", as we saw in New York a year ago. But he's going to have guys that generally are bigger than him. And how will he handle it? He's doing well here against a quick Mansoor who's also a heavier fighter, as expected. And I doubt he's going to face too many fighters that are as explosive and have as heavy hands with the speed. Big left. That's oh. a big left. And Cunningham is down. Mansoor has knocked Cunningham down. Seconds to go in the fifth round. Mansoor is ready, trying to finish it. He's going right back at Cunningham. Cunningham trying to stay up. Cunningham is down in the corner. Final seconds cannot be saved by the bell. Round five is coming to an end. Will Cunningham be able to come back for the next round? Steve Smolder talking to him, and that is the end of the round. Late in this round, Amir Mansour was able to do what he had been predicting. That was get in a big punch. And he did. Oh. Got him with the right. Right on the chin. Beautiful move by Mansoor. He sidestepped him. He came over. And then once he got him hurt, he knows how to maul his opponents. He's got heavy hands. And you see him there loading up with the right hook. There's a matter of time before he caught Steve again. Steve's still affected from the first knockdown there. And that's, uh, that's a tough, tough knockdown to recover from, Kenny, because Steve is in a lot of trouble. And it's all about how fast Steve can recover in these 60 seconds. Seven of Mansoor's 14 power shots in that final minute of that last round, according to CompuBox. Mansoor certainly ready for this round. The question is, they're doing a lot of work on Cunningham. That cut was opened up way early in this fight over the left eye. And he, Steve needs to immediately move around, forget about trying to land any punches right now, and just get some distance, buy himself a little more time to clear his head and clear his legs up because he's still hurt, Kenny. And round six. Movement from Steve Cunningham is the only way he'll stay in this fight right now, the only way. Can he stay away? He's got to stay away. Big round for Mansoor. Two knockdowns that last round, a dominating round. And what an incredible heart by Steve Cunningham. He was so hurt. Such bad shape at the end of the last round, and for him to even come out and get off the stool in the beginning of the sixth round is amazing. Mansoor is shifting back here now. Orthodox style for this. Trying to load up. See if he has one more big right in him. Now back to Southpaw. Exactly what Steve needs to do right there. Move and survive. Move and survive. We see the blood all over us here in the front row. And, uh, you know, this is a real fight. Amir Mansoor is a very tough guy, very game. And he's punishing Steve when he hits him. Can Steve continue to survive the onslaught and, uh, you know, get his head back together and get himself back in this fight? Cunningham countering along the ropes. Here comes the right hook. Mansoor coming right back. Good movement from Steve right there. And Cunningham still elusive. 
And Amir's just loading up too much here, Kenny. If he would let his combinations go, he wouldn't be able to get Steve out of here, but he's loading up and he's getting Steve opportunities to escape and get his head back together. Yeah, a veteran like Cunningham could see that coming. And how amazing was it in the second knockdown at the end of the last round? Steve was in bad shape. He took the whole eight count, the whole nine seconds. He got up in the very end, got himself back together in the corner, and now he's uh, doing better in the sixth round. Approaching a minute to go in this sixth round. The crucial round it is for Steve Cunningham. Can he get through this after being knocked down twice in the fifth round? Steve's legs still aren't all there, Kenny. You see him. He's still a little dangly. He's still trying to get it together, move around a little bit. But he's buying himself time. He hasn't taken any big shots in this round. Good nice shot by Steve Cunningham. Cunningham. He went right to the body to Cunningham. One of his best shots. Beautiful punch. And a nice right-hand lead. If Steve even gets out of this round, it would be amazing. He needs to move his head here. He gets away from Mansoor. And the mouthpiece amount of Mansoor almost came out of his mouth right there, Kenny. Steve's catching him with good shots. Nice counter right hands. He's getting out of the way. And just now, he's finally starting to get his legs back a little bit. And if he gets into the seventh round and gets back to his stool, he's going to be right back in this fight. This was a huge round for Cunningham. Unbelievable and heart by he Cunningham. He's able to buy him some time. He's still standing. And this fight is still going on. Cunningham continues to get away from Mansoor. Mansoor trying to close at the bell. Back in 30 seconds. Wow. Whoa. Steve Cunningham doing some excellent work in the last right, last hand. Landed a beautiful right hand of the body. He's been confusing Amir Mansoor with the punches up and down. There you see evidence of that, knocking Mansoor off balance. And uh, excellent, outstanding work from Steve Cunningham after the round before he was almost out of there, Kenny. Both hands in the body, shoot. It was a great round for him and that he bought himself some time. Got rested up, landed some good punches late. Cunningham in round six. 13 connections, that is his second highest total of the fight so far. We go to round seven, it's scheduled for 10, Cunningham in the blue and gold. In the red and black is Mansoor, who comes in here at 20 and 0. This is biggest test. Larry giving that last round unofficially to Cunningham, but look at round five, that is still huge. Two knockdowns for Mansoor in that round. Let's check in with Chris. Tell Amir after that last round. You got, you got, you got to get in. So you got to finish him. Man, sure trying to do that. And Steve Cunningham following the advice of his corner, brother Nassim. Hey, when he gets you against the ropes, I want you off. Spin out, do whatever you got to do. Amir Mansoor is fighting in spurts now. He's not able to fight for the full three minutes of the round, and Steve Cunningham could take advantage of that with three rounds to go. Well, Cunningham's camp felt they had the edge the longer this fight goes. Eleven times he has gone beyond the sixth round. Mansoor only three times in his career. Big difference, and we talked about that. World championship level experience. Going 10 rounds, going 12 rounds. Sometimes the early knockout isn't always the best recipe when you get into those championship level fights. So Cunningham, who survived the fifth round, caught his second win in the sixth and continues to be an elusive opponent here for Mansoor in the seventh. You see Mansoor forgetting about his jab. If he would use his jab, he would have a lot more success. It's for that reason Steve's able to hit him with straight punches down the middle. Amir has forgotten of his jab, and he's just lunging in, looking to land big hooks, big uppercuts, unorthodox punches. Nope. Just missed. Now he goes to work on the body. Big shots to the body. Heavy shots. And that's where Amir needs to focus his attack. Steve bringing that right hook to the body again. Both fighters a little tired here, Kenny. Steve tired and hurt. Amir's tired as well. He's taking some big shots to the body, courtesy of that Steve Cunningham right hand. 
Big right hand from Steve Cunningham. Right on the money. Again. Cunningham with one of his better punches right there. And that's the experience with 20 seconds left in the round. A pretty close round. Steve lands two clean right hands and, uh, you know, might have stole the round on my card, Kenny. Final seconds of round seven. Cunningham still standing, still able to avoid the big punch of Mansoor. Back live fight night here from Philadelphia. Kenny Rice, BJ Flores, Chris Mannix, glad that you're with us. Round eight, it's scheduled for ten. Amir Mansoor in the red with the black and the gold and the blue is Steve Cunningham. Cunningham unofficially getting that last round according to our own Larry Hazard. It goes all the way back to the fifth round. Cunningham knocked down twice, but he's come back, and there's a nice right. He tags Mansoor once again. He's been able to stay out of his wheelhouse. What an amazing heart and chin Cunningham has. He was in such bad shape in the end of that fifth round. He's come back. He's uh, put two good rounds in the bank, Kenny, and he's right back in this fight now, and uh, he's really digging some good shots to the body of Mir Mansoor. Through seven, it was dead even. 76 punches each landing. Big right hand of the body by Steve Cunningham. And then Steve's talking to him here now. He said, ooh, I know you felt that one. I just heard him say that in the ring. And, uh, you know, that championship level coolness that Steve Cunningham's got in the eighth round of a high-level fight, talking to his opponent. And you can see when Amir wants to come in, he almost cocks his hand back, but he's so explosive when he gets here, it still makes it hard to avoid the big punches. And some redness under the right eye of Mansoor. And his left eye is almost completely swollen shut. That's made it very difficult for him. So, you know, Steve's got to focus more on the straight punches, focus on the jab in the right hand, and not getting caught up in situations like right here. Back off the ropes. That's it. Big right hook by Amir. The one that knocked him down early. Both guys are amazing. That right, he's tough. Both guys are warriors, Kenny. I mean, you don't see these types of fights anywhere. Steve Cunningham, two-time world champion, he's shown he's the goods. And also, Amir Mansoor, undefeated, 15 knockouts, 20 wins. Both these guys want it so bad, and uh, their hearts are just amazing. Under a minute to go in round eight. What a great fight night. These heavyweights continuing at an amazing pace. They've been doing it throughout. People say heavyweight boxing in America has died. This fight is bringing it back to life. Two great heavyweights going at it and showing a lot of heart and a lot of power. In our co-main event, in case you missed it, in the final minute of the last round, Curtis Stevens got a TKO controversial win over Terriano Johnson. That was our co-main event. And the main event living up to all the billing. Two men that know they cannot afford a loss. And they're giving it their all. And both guys fighting like that. They know they can't afford a loss. 41-year-old Amir Mansoor doesn't want to get back in line. Steve Cunningham coming off the big loss to uh, Tyson Fury, but just missed out on a close opportunity to fight uh, for an eliminator. And both guys want it very badly. Final seconds. Round eight. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Live from Philly. Fight night. Mansoor, here he is. We talked about his power. Here's his quickness as well. Very explosive punching. He's very heavy-handed with that right hook. He digs into the head and the body. But you look, he's damaged. You look at the left eye there. Steve Cunningham is hitting with those right-hand leads, hitting with those jabs. And uh, Amir's just got a tremendous amount of heart. He's been through a lot in his life, and uh, he's proven that tonight in this ring. Emotional for both men on different levels, but with the same goal to move up in the heavyweight ranks to show that they belong, that they are very pertinent still, especially among the U.S. heavyweights. And Nazim Richardson told Steve Cunningham, listen, I want to see you take this walk. You said you've been built for this walk. You and your wife have, you and your wife have lived this walk. You've done it all with your daughter. Go out there and finish this fight and do what you know you can do. Larry giving that last round to Cunningham. He has him slightly ahead in this fight. Let's check in the Cunningham corner with Chris. Nazim, Steve has found his way back into this fight after those two knockdowns. How's he been able to do it? Steve is a better boxer and he's a champion. He, he, he knows this level. This man's just never got to be on television, but this one, the fiercest fighters, toughest, biggest hearts I've ever been around. He gonna fight. Talking about going to hell and back, man, so have to find out can he deal with hell. Once he stop headbutting, he in trouble. You still feel like Steve's in a position to win a decision? I think he's gonna win the decision. 
Thanks, Dustin. Thanks, Chris. Cunningham has won 14 times by decision. Mansoor only four. And Mansoor, this is only the fourth time he has ever gone this deep into a fight. Steve's got his confidence back, Kenny. He's landing punches. He's talking to Mansoor now. Barring Steve getting hit with anything big. Barring Steve getting hit with anything big, I think he's got it these last two rounds. And, uh, you know, it's just experience and pedigree. You know, Steve's been there a lot of times, and nothing beats experience, Kenny. Look at the total punch count. It's that close back and forth. Mansoor really getting frustrated now, loading up in his corner, needs to be reminding him, don't load up, let your hands go, stay in this fight, because he's giving the fight away, trying to load up with a one-punch knockout. He's going to go back and look at this tape and say, I wish I would have done things different, Amir Mansoor. He was in position a couple rounds ago. It looked like he was ready to put this fight away in the fifth, knocking down Cunningham twice. In the sixth, when it first started, Cunningham somehow finding the energy to hang in there and avoid the big punch and make it through that sixth round and landing a couple of good punches himself, and that turned the tide. I'll tell you exactly how. Steve Cunningham weighed in yesterday at 206 pounds. About 204 and a half pounds is Steve Cunningham's heart. Thirty seconds to go in this round. Mansoor, his left eye almost swollen shut. His right eye is just about a slip now from the swelling, showing heart of his own here. The pro Cunningham crowd champ though. And Philadelphia is really starting to stand up behind their guy now. Steve Cunningham is finally one time in 11 years, Kenny. I got a feeling he's going to be back. <laughs> They appreciate everything that he's been through, he and his family, and what a great champion he was at Cruiserweight. And now they cheer him as he goes back to his corner with a round to go. And there's wife Libby, the manager, and the precious daughter Kennedy. Sitting next to former two-time IBF world champion Chris Bird. A very good friend of Steve Cunningham's, and actually one of the main guys who got Steve Cunningham uh, to the next level in boxing. Steve was a sparring partner for Chris Bird for a lot of years, and uh, they became really close friends, and Chris here supporting him. You hear what I'm saying? You gotta go get it, baby. You better get paid. You gotta pull it out. You can start. Go to the dark, man. Dark, but get in there quick. You know what? Okay? Back in the bag. You back. You back. They come out for the final round. Cunningham, Mansour. What a fight between these two guys. An amazing Cunningham fight. Knocked down twice in the fifth round, somehow got back up, and now he goes back down. Is it a slip? That's what Steve Smoker says. Not ruling it a knockdown. It will not be a 10-8 round. He's correctly ruling it a slip. That was a slip. Man, sure. I don't see how he can see where he's throwing. His eyes are most swollen shut, but he continues to swing on. Kenny, he can't see, but he's got the heart of a champion, and he feels where Steve Cunningham is, and he's doing it. He said he doesn't know how to lose, he told us yesterday. He has it. He's 20 and 0. He's ranked number 13 in the world in the heavyweight division. And he's showing why he deserves that ranking, Kenny. Not only is he an is he incredible puncher, very explosive, but he's got a very big heart, and he's blinded in his left eye. He's swollen up in his other eye. He's still trying to get Steve Cunningham out of here, and in my scorecard, he needs the knockout to win, Kenny. Unofficially, Larry Hazard has Steve slightly ahead in this fight. Very close fight. I think I got it by one round here, but, you know, based on the big 10-7 round by Amir Mansoor, but Steve Cunningham is in good position if he doesn't take a big shot in this last minute and 30 seconds. The sixth round, the key round in this fight, PJ. Huge sixth round for Amir Mansoor, scored the two knockdowns, but that's no surprise. We always knew Mansoor is a big puncher, but Cunningham let him in just close enough. And Mansoor, does he still have one more big punch left? 
It's going to be very difficult at this, at this point, Kenny, unless Steve just sits in there with him. If Steve will sit on the outside and box him, close out this last minute. Um, great, amazing win. Comeback story of a lifetime for Steve Cunningham. But that's what he's done his whole life. That's what he's had to do with his kids and his family. He's had to see it firsthand. And uh, we're getting nothing less than the boxing ring tonight. And a good right that he sticks in does Cunningham. Under a minute. And you can't teach a guy how to do this. You're either born to do it or you're not. You can't show somebody, hey, listen, I want you to be blinded, be cut in the 10th round, be almost knocked out, and continue to beat a guy who's almost 20 pounds heavier than you at this point in the fight. You can't show somebody this kind of heart, Kenny. It's just amazing to witness it firsthand. It really is. That might have sealed the deal. And a fight that's going to be close. We'll see. And Steve needs to be careful not to get crazy and come inside and try to knock Amir out. Steve has clearly won the fight on the scorecards now. Let's live to see another day. And, uh, you know, what an amazing close of a great fight in Philadelphia tonight between two great heavyweights. Two men. Absolutely he did, Kenny. And you know, you gotta have him up on the scorecards. And you see the battering that Mansoor took. Can't even see out of his left eye, I don't believe. Beautiful right hand leads. He got Amir Mansoor. It's not that Amir Mansoor was so hurt, but he got him off balance. And Steve did a veteran move. He saw the balance problems of Mansoor. Mansoor's a little fatigued. He followed up with combinations, and he scored a vital 10-8 round right there that might have sealed him this fight. His daughter thinks so. His friend Chris Bird thinks so. And actually his wife Libby now hugging tight. I don't know if there's anything in life Steve Cunningham can't do, Kenny. <laughs> well, this was an amazing comeback after being knocked down twice in that fifth round. The fact that he survived the sixth when Mansoor still was at full strength. And what credit, though, to Mansoor has not had the experience or the competition level that a two-time champ like Cunningham has, but he goes the distance, banged up, barely can see out of his eyes from taking those punches from Cunningham. A tremendous fight. And you know, win or lose or draw for Mansoor here, who doesn't want to see him fight again? What a great effort he put in there tonight. And, you know, if you stand in front of Mansoor, you get chopped down. And I just, I think there's a lot of heavyweights that he creates a lot of exciting style matchups with. And I can't wait to see him fight again, Kenny. With that being said,